Hello friends! In the last video, we opened up and checked out my new A500 Mini. In this video, we will see what it takes to run Amiga Disk Images, most commonly known as ADFs. First, let's simply try and put a USB thumb drive in the A500 Mini that has a Workbench 1.3 image and see what happens. Okay, here we see an icon for the thumb drive. Okay, looks like we can't proceed any further. Let's just check our firmware version to see what we have. It looks like we're basically version 1.0.0, the initial release. If you have the initial release for the A500 Mini, by default you cannot run ADFs. As you saw, the minute I selected my USB in the list, I was presented with this screen telling me I need the WHD load package. Fortunately, they have released a firmware upgrade that allows ADF image support, as well as more features and bug fixes. Let's go to their website and check it out. At retrogames.biz, it looks like we need to go to products and find the A500 mini page. Here it is. Let's just click support. And here we have options for installing that WHD load package and upgrading the firmware. Let's just click the firmware update and see. Along with some bug fixes, we have our ADF disk image support. We can also do playlists and hot crop. We have some keyboard enhancements and some joystick enhancements. So let's download the file and copy it to a USB thumb drive. According to the instructions, we just need to make sure our thumb drive is formatted to FAT32. Be sure to just copy it to the parent folder. The A500 Mini needs to see it on the USB in order to unhide a secret option on the firmware screen. Now we're just going to eject the thumb drive and insert it into the A500 Mini. As per the instructions, we will remove any peripherals besides the joystick. This includes the mouse. Then we will plug in the thumb drive. So going back to the firmware page in the A500 Mini, we can now see an option for upgrading the firmware. Let's do that now. That was quick. It looks like the system rebooted. Okay, let's check out the version now. 1.1.1 Now that thumb drive still has my Workbench ADF on it, so let's just... Uh, what? Well, as it turns out, this version still does not let you even browse a thumb drive unless you have installed the A500 WHD load package. Yes, that's right, you have to install the WHD load package to use a USB thumb drive, even if you don't plan to use WHD load. Keep in mind WHD load requires disk images to be modified specifically for WHD load, and I'm simply trying to load a vanilla ADF of Workbench, which shouldn't use or need WHD load. And what is up with this QR code anyway? How would a person download the package to their smartphone and then get it onto a USB thumb drive? Using the cloud, I suppose, but that would be way more steps than just going to the website on your PC. A sign of the times, I suppose, every company has to have QR codes, even when they make little sense. <sighs> Alright, let's get back to the site and download the WHC load package. What? Oh, okay. 
Now this one is on Google Drive, so we need to click the download icon. What, was this file too big for the site? Or is it here to make it easier to deposit updates? Whatever. So we're going to open the zip and copy the contents to the thumb drive's parent directory. Gee, I wonder if I couldn't just have made an A500 directory to get this to work. No matter, let's put the thumb drive in the A500 mini and see what we get. Okay, well, it looks like that did it. It looks like you have to press home on the joystick to start the image. Looking promising. I'm just going to do a little bit of fast forwarding here. It actually loads at accurate floppy drive speeds. And now we have Workbench. Okay, so we know Workbench works. Let's try a game. Dark Side. Mouse button, probably. Yeah, there we go. Okay, press the key to start. Okay. Keyboard and mouse, I believe, is how you. Okay, well that works. Anyway, thanks friends and we'll see you soon.